Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building NeoPixel goggles inspired by HBO's Watchmen. The LED animations look really cool and you can control them with a rotary encoder. There's four different modes and you can change up the speed, colors, and brightness. The rotary encoder has a built-in switch so you can adjust the settings and cycle through the different modes. The design is made up of 3D printed add-ons that fit over a pair of costume goggles. You can actually see through them so they're safe to wear. The 3D printed covers actually keep the light away from your eyes. An elastic headband makes it much more comfortable to wear and it can be adjusted so they'll stay nice and tight. The code was written in CircuitPython so it makes customizing much easier. Go to the CircuitPython site to see all of the supported hardware and download the latest version for your board. This uses the Trinket M0 which is one of the tiniest boards supported in CircuitPython. You can double press the reset button to get into the bootloader mode. Then just drag and drop a file onto the boot drive. The board automatically flashes the firmware and works like a USB drive so all of your code and libraries are easily accessible. With the Moot Python editor, you can customize the settings and use the built-in serial REPL to debug your code. Check out the Trinket Learn Guide for full breakdown on the CircuitPython bootloader. You can update your bootloader by following the guide and downloading the latest version. CircuitPython makes it easier to maintain the code and we think these type of projects make it easier to learn and build from. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The 3D printed parts are designed for PLA and NinjaFlex filament. Start by wiring up the NeoPixel rings. Here we're using silicone covered stranded core wire. It comes as ribbon cable so it can be split apart at the ends but still work as a single cable. This keeps the wires tidy and it makes the project a bit more organized. The two rings are wired together with a bit of heat shrink tubing to insulate the solder joints. A LiPo backpack is used for recharging the battery over the micro USB port on the Trinket M0. You can use a pair of flush diagonal cutters to snip the trace using the mounting hole as an anchor. This enables the circuit to be turned on and off. The LiPo backpack is soldered to the bottom of the Trinket M0 using header pins to keep it supported. The rotor encoder is wired to the Trinket M0 using more silicone cover ribbon cable. There's a few pieces to the costume goggles that can easily be taken apart. The nose bridge is replaced with a strap that is built into the NinjaFlex case. Additional pieces fit over the eye cups and are secured with screw-on covers. The NeoPixel rings are press fitted into the 3D printed holders that snap fit into the goggles. The circuit and battery are housed in the case right above the nose bridge. The rotary encoder is panel mounted on the side and secured in place with the covers. A lid for the case is also printed in NinjaFlex so it can be press fitted into the enclosure. Be sure to check out the guide for a full tutorial on how to build this project. We hope this gets folks using CircuitPython in their projects. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.